My wife was pregnant in, in the audience, and if I did drop Charlize, she would have probably squirted the baby out right there. Channing Tatum is in the house. I am so excited. This is my guy. This is my boy. Aww. And he crushes it in Foxcatcher. Um, all right, let's talk about Mark Schultz mm -hmm. wrestling. Yep. You do what seemed to me all of your own wrestling in this film. Mm -hmm. With wrestling, it, there's no there's no faking. You actually have to like be connected and sl actually hitting the ground. And, and, it, and it's just exhausting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a brutal physical chess. It's uh, it's it's. I don't, I don't ever need to do it again. I can promise you that. Um, what can you tell us about Mark Schultz? Because this is based on a true story. Mm -hmm. These wrestlers had hard lives. They yeah. had a very, very hard life. And Mark had a hard life before wrestling and during wrestling just to try to survive and pay bills and mm -hmm. eat and compete. And I think, I think Mark, at the time DuPont came into his life, um, was really in need of right. someone yeah. to just see him and to shine some light on him. Um, this movie premiered at Cannes. How did that feel? The thing that I can liken it to most is like it must have felt like the gladiators did walking into the Coliseum because they literally applaud you just for showing up. I mean, your movie could die on that screen. People could boo you and, mm -hmm. you know, you could have to walk out of there with people booing you. And, and then to get that sort of reception, I almost don't feel like I should ever go back uh, to maybe any of these festivals. It's like going to Vegas and you know, walking into the Bellagio and like never being to, been in a casino before, putting all your money on black mm -hmm. and actually winning and then walking right out and yeah. being like, <laughs> if I don't ever go back to Vegas, I could be the one guy that uh, never lost. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it, it's extraordinary. Um, father? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? You said you were fat and happy. I read earlier. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm slowly having to work off that. Uh, that fappiness. That, yeah. that fat and happiness. You, she uh, got you wrapped around your finger yet? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all I'm doing is just chasing her around. I mean, she could run at like nine months. So uh, we've just been. <laughs> she's 15 months now. So I've just been chasing ever oh, since. Nice. So that's helping me lose the weight. Uh, 23 Jump Street. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess you never say never, but me and Jonah did say that we would only make the movie if, if, uh, if we could do The Fugitive, um, shot for shot, like line for line, and have uh, Riggle break out of jail. Awesome. I hope I see you on down the yeah. road in February. Done. All right. Thank we'll you get so out much. Of here and do right. your thing. <laughs>